This is Trojan News. Welcome to Trojan News. I'm Johnny. And I'm Miguel. And we'll, and we'll be your hosts for today. Trojan News journalist Ashley Perez gives us an insight into two new teachers joining us mid-year here at WHS. Let's see how Mrs. Denai and Mrs. Busman are settling in. Ms. Denai and Ms. Busman are new teachers here at WHS. They started teaching their classes at the beginning of third quarter. Ms. Busman, a new art teacher at WHS, has been enjoying the students in her classes. I think it's coming really well. Like, it is kind of awkward joining like halfway through, but I have some really great kids and some really great classes so far. Ms. Busman is from Slayton, Minnesota, and sees Wellington as a much bigger high school than what she's used to. Grew up in a very small school. I graduated with 50 kids, but it's really interesting to see like the different backgrounds of all your students, and like you can see all their different interests, their different talents. WHS's new science teacher, Ms. Denai, is a Wellington graduate. Graduating in 2016, she is why she chose to come back to WHS. My favorite thing is probably the diversity of the students. I think that's a really great opportunity for me to get to see all the differences. We're halfway through the quarter and I can finally like see what their, kind of what their type of art is and I like to see that grow. If you are like me, you always like getting to meet new people at WHS. But it's not just about the new teachers, it's about how they are doing and how they impact the students. Jalen Hernandez, a junior, has enjoyed having class with Ms. Busman. Jalen thinks that she gives good directions and shows the class what to do. Um, I think it's pretty good because like she just started teaching, but I think it's good because like the way she's like demonstrating the things. One of Ms. Denai's students, Tren Sir, admits to not liking science, but says she likes the spirit the teacher brings to their classroom. I think she's really helpful towards the students, and she's like not too old, so she brings like a youthful spirit. Ms. Hope and Ms. Busman seem to be having a great start here at WHS. I can't wait to see their future impacts on this school. This has been Ashley for Trojan News. We're honored to welcome these new teachers here at WHS. We wish them the best of luck with the start of their new career. Magic the Gathering is a card game in which players are magical duels. This complex card game gained a new club here at WHS. Here's Johnny Lopez to meet you soon. Magic the Gathering is a card game played by millions of people around the world. Here in WHS, a new club has popped up for the card game. The club was started by Mr. Jacobson, but the idea came from students. There were a couple of students that wanted a Magic the Gathering club for a while. Bennett Oberlo, a WHS sophomore, was one of these students. And I have been bothering Mr. Jacobson about it since he even said that he would, so yeah. Mr. Jacobson, an art teacher in WHS and the advisor of the club, was excited about starting the club, especially because several students already expressed interest. The club started actually because I had a couple students who uh, they had heard that I was into uh, magic or Dungeons and Dragons or whatever it was. And so they came up to me and asked if I would be willing to start a club. And I was already sort of thinking that I wanted to start some sort of a club. I've been thinking about it for years, getting a Magic the Gathering club together. So those students coming to me and, and like expressing their interest really like pushed me. I was like, yeah, I guess I could start this. So The club caught wind by posters around the school and a Schoology post made by Mr. Jacobson announcing the new club. The club's growth was slow at first, but was very small. Jonathan Cristobal, a senior and a member of the Magic Club, describes what he thinks could make the club better. The club would be better with more people, and I think that's why it formed in the first place, so a lot more people would find more interest or would actually pursue their interest in Magic. As the club grows, more students and teachers start hearing about Magic the Gathering and start to do their own research. Guillermo Pacas, a senior at WHS, shares his opinion. I think it's something cool that they're doing to you know, bring more people together that usually they wouldn't know. I mean, I'm all for it. I probably won't join because I don't even know about the card game, but it's pretty cool. In opening this new Magic the Gathering club, it may open doors for new clubs in the school. As long as there's enough attention around the activity, it may possibly become a club. This has been Johnny for Trojan News. Man, I don't understand a thing about this card game. Well, maybe you should join the club, you will. You're right. I think I'll go next week. Have you ever dealt with having your dad as the principal? I bet you haven't. 
and children news journalist Samantha Boltman will give an insight of what it's like. Along with the new school year, we had a huge change with the new principals and teachers. The current principal's daughter joined our school as the science teacher, and one of WHS's students' dad joined the school as the assistant principal. Let's see how they're managing their relationship at school versus at home is not something everyone has to deal with. The current principal at WHS, Tony Hastings, talks about having boundaries with his daughter at school. I think she accepts my role as, as her boss when we're at school, but then as her dad when we're not in school at school. As a recent hire, Mr. Hastings needed to take a step back in Mrs. Hastings' hiring process. <laughs> Um, I don't believe that he made it easier for me to get my job. Um, my dad didn't or wasn't part of the interview process when I applied here, but I think it definitely made me feel more comfortable applying here just because like, I had someone here that I knew was rooting for me. In addition to the father-daughter relationship between the Hastings, the assistant principal, Doug Brands also has a relationship with his son, Charlie Brands, a current senior. Um, he probably keeps his distance from me a little bit as the principal or the assistant principal versus when I'm dad. Now we're going to see how Charlie feels about having his dad as the assistant principal. Uh, no, I think it's less distance than normal because I get to see him during the day and stuff. And normally that wouldn't happen. Well, he has a lot to manage at the school, Mr. Hastings shares his thoughts on being the new head principal of WHS. Being a Trojan is still something I love to be a part of. And yes, there, there's more pressure, more responsibilities, but I, I love being here and I love being a Trojan. Mr. Hastings has given his daughter the same love of being a Trojan. Not only does she love being a Trojan, she also loves her dad. Ms. Hastings shares what it's like having her dad as the principal. I am really proud of my dad for being the head principal now. He was assistant principal for me for, oh gosh, like seven years. He was my assistant principal when I was in middle school. We can see Miss Hastings is very proud of how far her dad has come in his career. While Charlie Brands doesn't work for his dad, like Miss Hastings, he still sees him in the halls every day. Uh, I think it's pretty great because I don't have to go in the office for that much stuff because he could just pick it up for me. Everyone has a relationship with their principal, but not everyone has a relationship with their principal and dad. This has been Samantha with, for Trojan News. Wow, I was definitely like having my dad as my principal. Thank, Thank you, you for, for watching, watching Trojan, Trojan News. News. This has been Johnny and Miguel. Catch you, you next time. time.